Right behind the scenes with a little bit of luck, this is the video. This is the video. And this is the video. The ultimate goal of this video is by the end of it, we're gonna have this thing outside on the excavator, trimming a tree. That's what I wanna see. All right, so the big obvious thing we got left to do is uh, paint this thing. Mm -hmm. Disassemble, paint, reassemble, hope it works. That's the plan. Yeah. All right, did we ever decide what we're gonna paint it? Whatever you say, because I got the best idea, but you don't wanna go with it. I like that you finally agreed that I'm buying the paint, I'm painting, I bought everything else. Yeah. You're right. I get to choose the paint color. Color. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Dumb. You, <laughs> really you haven't even heard what I was going to say yet. <laughs> All right, so your crazy bleeping idea is the barber pole this thing or yeah. something ridiculous. We are not a body shop, nor do we have time for that. But I'll compromise with you. Okay, you'll compromise. I'll compromise. So since this unbolts right here, I'll go two tone. We'll, we'll paint that part. Oh, no. We'll paint that one color and this the other color. All so, right. with that being said, we're obviously going to paint it my two favorite colors: <laughs> pink and purple. Huh? No, not pink and purple. <laughs> oh, bright yellow. Not bright yellow. I oh, think. I'm losing, I don't, I don't, I'm losing you. I don't know where you're going. I think from here back, since this is just kind of the business end and don't matter, we'll paint it black. Oh, black and green. Now you're getting oh. somewhere. Thank you. Yeah. See, yeah. black and green. Yeah, you are real cheap because that's what you got here in the shop. Exactly, that's what we got left over there. You All are right. making sure we don't put no money in this thing. I'll tell you what, are they have hydraulic Not hoses? Body, hydraulic hoses and a blade. But yeah, we've uh, hydraulic system and hydraulic hoses and a blade is the only thing we've bought so far. Yeah. All right, I don't think we paint the back half black, the front okay. half. This is gonna be green. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I thought about being nice and letting you put a stri stripe on it, but we ain't got time for that either. All right, before we do that, I was thinking last night. You know what happens when I think, right? You came up with the name? Oh, we do need a name, yeah. <laughs> no. Are you just gonna wait until you figure out what the highest... Uh... Even though even though this yeah. thing is gonna be long done after they see these videos, there's a good chance it still won't have a name. Yeah. So you guys may still have a chance to name it. Yeah. Long story short, we're still open for name suggestions because we don't have nothing at all. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I think we need to add two final things. Two final things. Oh, that we got a weld on yet. Yes. Yes, yeah. Then we're gonna hurry up and paint it before we think of something else we need to add on. Or switch colors to my colors. Not switch colors. All right, one, I think we need to add a second D-ring down here. Uh, that way, if this is disconnected from that, we can still grab it. Yep. So we got an extra D-ring. I think just throw it on right there. Yep. Uh, the other thing is, I think we can kill two birds with one stone here. This is kind of like the one last rough edge on this thing. And whatever we hear, let me, let me come around the other side. Hold on. I'll try to explain this to you guys from over here. You gotta be my cameraman for a second. So, wherever you go to uh, turn this thing, there's not really a good spot to grab a hold of it. So I cut these little rods. If we put these right here like this, with that, it becomes a handle, and it makes that look pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it look like a triangle in there. Yeah, and then look, see? You got your brake assembly right here, you got your handle right there. Go ahead and try it, see what happens right no, now. No, I spilled my Pepsi. <laughs> Party foul. All right, so let's weld those yep. in. Let's get that welded on. Uh-huh. And then we need to strip this thing down. Yeah, and, so uh, while I'm welding them on, you go ahead and strip this down. We like watching you weld. That, that's like uh, knocking two birds out with one stone. Hey, did you ever tell them, did you ever, uh, I did you ever explain to him? And that, that was a luck shot. Luck a shot, shot my butt. Yeah, so a bird got in here. Yes. And it was flying around. 
and you had a roll of duct tape, roll of masking tape, and I forget a roll of something else. I think it was a lot of electrical tape. And you're throwing it, and about that time, you drill that bird. The tape slid on the ground. This is like tape. three years ago, by the way. Three years ago, three or four years ago, you drill that bird, but it was up there where the I beam meets the ceiling, how you yeah. that gap, and you hit the bird, bird hits the floor, Tape stays up there. <laughs> well, yeah, yesterday, two, three days ago. Yeah, the tape fell. The tape finally, fell finally fell down. Four years. Oh. It's all yellow and nasty. Oh, oh. That was a good shot. It was. It was a good shot. <laughs> all right, let's do something. All right. Ready? Yep. I'm all. I'm all. That looks so much better. This time that. Yeah. Alright, you wanna weld each one off? We'll just I think, yeah, we'll just go ahead while you're here, get them all packed on and get everything packed in place and I can check off weld. Alright. I think that's the best place for that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I say we keep it right there. We got it square. Yep. Right in line with that. For the corresponding yeah. number they're all close but they're slightly different i think that's one this says one here one's the longest one yep like it yep this one should be five uh, there's no number on this, so look for one without a number on it. No, it's number five. What number is that? That's four. You have five. Five's five. that one. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of a five. It's half of a five. Are you sure that's right? Yes, this is the one that was I cut too short. So oh, I have to hold oh. that. Ready? I got gaps for you. Look at that. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. You're going all wire jamming on me. Yeah. I was trying to bridge it over. Sorry. Take my time this time. It's a little bit high, but I think we can beat it down the hammer, can't we? Yeah, I ain't got much on it. We we'll go ahead and tack that other side first. Eyeball. Oh, now you say eyeballs after we're out there. That uh, needs to go. That's pretty right. good right there, don't it? Yeah. All right, you guys get the point. We're gonna get the rest of them on there, get that welded out, and start stripping this down. Look at that. Looking good. Ooh, that's hot. It's gonna work nice. All right, Aaron's got the last little bit of welding done. I think it is time to pull this hydraulic system off. I wanna show you guys one thing real quick. We did the other day, after we ended the video, is we ended up coming in here and crossing over these hoses right here and switching the reverse, switching the direction of the uh, blade. That way it does continue to keep the blade tight and uh, won't come loose. Seemed to work, seemed to work quite a bit better. We weren't gonna tell that secret. Well, they're gonna see it. They wouldn't have seen it if we painted it and put it all back together. I mean, I can cut this part out and see how many comments we get. Oh man, yeah, uh, it worked. It, it did worked. work. And honestly, if we wouldn't have told them, they never would have known because everything was going to cover. So it's going to be our little secret. All right, we got we got plenty of other little secrets. We'll see <laughs> if they find those. <laughs>
All right, let's strip his down. All right. Man, don't you wish the uh, hydraulic system, hydro, hey, watch out, that might be sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. Don't you wish the hydraulic system on everything was uh, that simple to strip? Yeah, yeah, be nice. <laughs> Would be nice, so. All right, get the blade off. The protective coating is no longer on our blade. We might need to find an old air hose or something and split, put around that to protect it when we're not using it. Shit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, he says. Well, I mean, uh, I look at like all these tree services. They don't put anything around them. Hey, you want to talk about these tree services? Let's bring something else up. I sent a video of this to Jason last night. And you know what his first question was? What? Where's your guard? <laughs> I've never seen one of these ever built with a guard. No. Could you imagine how destroyed that I would mean, get? Not for granted. I understand that. Tree services, theirs are about 10 foot up in the air, so yeah. nobody's gonna hit them. Well, we just gotta store it properly, and I don't think we have to worry about it. Store it properly, we don't have to worry about nope. it. I like the way you're going. So, uh, we like going full command here. We taking motor, gearbox, everything out. out. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the order? I think we have to take the gear, the motor out first. We pop it back. Yeah. Uh, what you do with that swivel? I got you. You want to roll that back down? You want to tell everybody how you got me addicted to Timu now? Because I got one coming oh, for that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, do you? Got one coming yeah, for it? Yep. It's a bad, bad app. All right. It is. Well, we need to take that set screw loose, take these loose, motor will slide back, then the rest of it will all pop out. All right. Just the way we engineered it. Yeah. Everything is stripped out of the end. Man, I tell you what, for as crammed in there as that is, it's crazy how well that comes in and out of there, isn't it? Oh yeah. So the next thing we need to do is uh, separate this right here. We'll get this separated right here and it's just a matter of uh, Get everything positioned and start yep. blowing some paint. Oh, I like it. Uh, do we want to uh, pull this off or are we just going to paint all that on there? I like to paint it all on there. Just paint it all? Unless you want to make a different color. Hell, even if we do, we can tape off that handle later and do something different. All right. Seen she is in multiple pieces again. Yep. That looks, gosh, it looks good. If it looks this good, not painted. What, how good is it going to look painted? Uh, I may have some BBs or did you get them? Right. Not yet. I got all the ones off over there. So, all right, 
here's our thought process for paint. We went ahead and welded a lug on that, or a D-ring on that as well. So in theory, we got two, we got two sky hooks. Yeah. Are you cold in the shop? Huh? It's like 72 degrees in here. No, I'm not cold. I just like having sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you worry me. Uh, All right, so here's the, here's the question. We've been debating this. Does it matter which one we hang from which? You said six one way, half a dozen the other. Let's see pros and cons of both. The one you were thinking you're gonna move the most, you're painting. The one you think you're gonna move the most needs to go on this one. I think it's that it's one. Got buttons to go up and down. That one you got a pull chain. I don't like that one. That's why yeah. it sits over and collects dust most of the time. Yeah. And gets caught on everything it shouldn't be caught on. Yeah, that's. Usually that's, that's your coat hook. Uh, yeah. And as I'm moving the crane, I see your sweatshirt <laughs> going back and forth across the shop. All right. That's like a model A right there. Hey, dude. here's another advantage. Think about this one. We got to pick this one up off the floor to here. That one's already that high, so yeah. Yeah. that's less pulling. All right, that makes our decision. Let's uh, let's fly this one up out of the way, and then we'll bring that one in, get this one rigged, and uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start blasting yeah. some paint. This. You're driving my hook. Yeah. All right, you show them how this thing works. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that's right. Well, if I was painting it, yeah, but you're painting, you might want to go up a couple more foot. Not where you want it there, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think so. Now, just need to tape that chain up there or something to keep well, that we're chain. We're not gonna move it, maybe we just zip tie it off right there? Yeah, if you like it where it's at, yeah. All right. Zip tie it off. So here's the question. Are we gonna do this the right way in primer or are we just gonna sheet paint on it all again? Oh, I don't know, have we been primering? Everything? No, because it generates a lot of comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a uh, primer we need to get rid of. No, we can primer it then. Primer's getting old, we'll go ahead and primer everything. All right, we'll get this strapped up, get our paint mixed up, and do it, do it. All right, everybody's gonna be so proud. Got that primer. Can you roll this like you were whenever you're welding it so I can get all the sides? Yeah, yeah. Look at that, the camera mount. Huh. Imagine that, phone dragging. Somebody's gonna see this video. They're gonna be like, hey, that was me calling him. He ignored my phone call. I don't understand, I was coming. <laughs>
the final piece. Sure just don't want to leave it, Greg. <laughs> Getting low, you gonna make it? Yeah, it's work. Got it. Well, man, behind the scenes, I don't see any runs yet. No, it's looking good. You don't want me to pinpoint too much out, bud. I see more welding splatter than I see runs. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, I put my eagle eye on it, and and I did see uh, I did see quite a few runs. Well, let's point them out there, eagle eye. We don't want to do that. Oh, because they don't exist. They exist. You know what they this exist. is? You know what this is called? Calling your bluff. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. You you walk around, you look hard enough, you've got five runs. I've lo I've walked around it three times. I ain't found one yet. Huh? The closest thing I found to a run is that right there. Yeah, right off the that's edge. That's not now. a run. That's a sag. <laughs> Take the calories. That's a sag. It's a sag. He thought about running, but he got lazy. <laughs> All right. I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and paint this one black first. Get it swung over out of the way, and then we'll paint this one green. You ready? Yeah. So tell them where you're going to hang it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good shot. The paint's still a little thick, but we're going to make it work.
Yeah, you get one. Box all have ten, Sam. Oh. Yeah. I'll be in a couple, it'll be fine. cleaning up his uh, mess we'll go over and uh, give it a look down real quick I think he did a lot better on his painting than he did his primer oh yeah nice shiny slick see reflections in that uh, could have done a little prep better prep job on the uh, axle there Looks nice now. I'm not going to say it's going to stay that way, but it does look nice. I'll give you credit. Is that your way of saying that you can't find any runs? No, I looked it over. You did a lot better job on your painting here than what you did on your you primer job. Huh? You want to do this one? No, it's all right. It's setting up too high. <laughs> I don't want to bust that zip die, let it down. So we'll continue on how we're going. All right, you ready? Let's see some green. Let's yeah, see some green. Oh yeah. You see your run? I'll go down there and show them your run. Don't worry about that.
Get down here and show them where you didn't even paint anything. Man. Huh? You didn't even paint anything there. What? Oh. I'm not oh. done. You're done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No spot, don't see no paint there. Man, that run really shit out right there. Keep up good work! Man, let's get it. There's one of this nice shiny green. It should have been red and white, and that black. It's gonna look good together. Not as good as the red and white, but swirled down that hole. Alright, now he's putting his finishing touches on. We'll go around and do a very good inspection. If you guys see any runs or any, well, not well splatter, but uh, paint bubbles, you let me know. I won't help you point anything out. But you guys just take a look. Hey, 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 hey. You back up, keep going. We're busy right now. But uh, you see a thing, comment below. Hopefully it ain't nothing with the welds. And hopefully it's all with the paint. Oh, and for some reason, he's keeping me away from this area here. Oh, I'm right here. He messed a little bit. Oh, I just pulled one and out one. custom touch on the black here. Let's get everything turned down. We're putting a little bit of green speckle in it to see how good he does on this. That's looking pretty good. Yeah it is. Paint. Good deal. Nice little touch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take so. Well, behind the scenes, we got a little ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we did. We got uh, 
I was painting black. I was painting green. And now we have a bucket in the middle of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so long story short, I think they both turned out awesome. Yeah, they did. Very, very, very nice. The only sag I have is the one in the primer at the very beginning. Yeah. That we found. Yeah, it showed through the paint, but I ain't gonna say anything. <laughs> I found an equal amount of porosity in your weld, so. Uh, All right, guys, long story short, we're gonna let those dry overnight. We'll reassemble it in the morning while we're waiting on that stuff to dry. We're gonna cut the, you wanna show me what we're gonna do? Yeah. Right, so basically we got those cables on the front of the dozer now. This is the bucket that goes on the 210. This is the one that uh, Clint remachined for us to get the fit on here. It actually come off a 300 series machine. Yeah. Actually come off a John Deere 240 if you want to get particular. There we go, yeah. But long story short, we're going to cut this ear off, weld that hook on there. That way we got a quick hook for yeah. our uh, cables when we go to pull the, uh, pull the top plow around. So we're not going to bore you guys with that. We'll see you back here in the morning when we're reassembling the uh, saw. We gotta, we gotta, you guys got to help with a name. Yeah. I promise you, by the time you guys see this, we probably still don't have a name. All right. See you in the morning. Morning, man, behind the scenes. Morning. Look at that. Don't she look beautiful Slick. this morning? Look at that. We've only got one issue this morning and they're not gonna be able to see it through the camera. No. Thank this you. one here, this one here is perfectly dry, pretty much ready to go. This one here, Fingers, it's, like it's a little bit sticky yet. I don't think we're gonna let that keep us from putting it together no. though, are we? We're, we're going to. All right. We're gonna go full assembly on this thing this morning because we are about to determine to give this thing a test run. So you guys pretty much know how it goes together because you watched it come apart. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna set you guys up on time lapse. I think we're gonna try to do it while it's hanging from the, uh, hanging from the hoist here. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's make something yeah. out of this. Man behind the scenes, this thing is an absolute work of art. Yeah. You know the best part? It went together like it just, like a well little machine. Like everything oh, just fit like a did. glove. Minimal tools too. Yeah. If you notice that, everything. Put it in uh, real time. It took us maybe 35 minutes to put this that. all together. Gosh, it looks good. All right, there's one last piece to put on. Yeah, there is. You gonna do the honors? Yep. All right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, man, I could not be happier with the way that turned out right there. No, uh, not. Nice. Looks so good. So good, I tell you. Oh, you know how you make it look even better? Need one more tappy tappy back here. I'm close. Let's go this way. Oh. There you go. So 
Still need to go in. Still needs to go in. Too much paint. It's too much paint. The paint's what did it, huh? Yeah. You know you got it pretty precise whenever the thickness of the paint messes you up. Yeah, yeah. So oh, one thing, that's what I'm getting ready to say here. You put an old rusty washer on and everything oh, else is brand new. Ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, come on. Trying to save boxes. Yeah, get that washer. Come on, they're waiting. Put a good one on. There we go. That's better. Yeah. All right. Nice, everything is new, bright and shiny. Ain't gonna be that way for long. All right, what do you think now? Only one thing left to do. Yeah, it's sitting right outside. The tree or the excavator? <laughs> both, both. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. I did scuff paint in one spot, sorry. Uh, well, I You're gonna have a little touch up. I hate to tell you, but uh, I think the tree's gonna scuff the paint quite a bit more. I mean, let's face the facts. This is a little over and beyond, over and beyond for a limb saw. Yeah, yep. I've seen a few of the ones that made, especially up at Utility Expo, which is all we made the decision. Can we get a booth? Huh? Can we get a booth up there? I guarantee you one thing. If they seen ours versus those little Mickey Mouse things that other guys are producing. We'd be in business, we'd huh? We'd be in business. <laughs> Everybody says I need to patent the tile plow. I think this is what we need to patent. We'll have them both setting up there. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yeah. you know, we, could, we could have a whole booth over our attachments we've built. Oh, we, we could. We could. Half my attachments we've got, we've built from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> they work awesome. Hey, and one of my favorite was still yet today is the uh, auger bit. Yeah. The, that, was, that was being the uh, universal from the mini to the... Mine goes back and forth, which we didn't build this one, but the trenching bucket we got. Yeah, yep. That one works pretty good. And the waterline plow. Oh, yeah, the waterline plow. Forgot about that one, too. That was a fun one. Or the super stick. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. We got a lot of paint ahead of us to get everything painted for the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, anticipation is killing me. I know. so well yeah it does lifting points jack stand I love it Right here. Like that. It's gonna be nice and protected right there. Yes, it is. <coughs> and then yeah. this hose goes here. This hose goes here. Oh, one side. What's that? It's our hose clearance, it's going to be rotate. 
So we're going to release this. Look how easy that turns. <laughs> what do you want, up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there? yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's like that. Uh, we're going this way first, right? Yep. Bam, there you are. Smell like butter. Oh, it also get a bad situation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm sitting level. I'm just going back and forth by the tree. Now, one thing I like is 90% of the time. Well, I don't know. Farmer Chris's fields are a little different, but most fields are flat. And it, it, yeah, I think it's going to work great. I mean, it's got plenty of power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right.
wanted to bring this down here. This looks like a little big old limb way up there, but that is a pretty decent cut. Yeah, yeah, it is. That cuts it every bit as fast as the chainsaw would. Uh, probably a little quicker, actually. I'm not gonna lie. That's hickory, man. That's hard wood. That's about yeah. All it gets. Smells good, man. Yeah. Long story short, <laughs> that is impressive. Yeah. Yes, it is. That is super impressive. So, how was it from the seat? Uh, it's not bad. The visibility on this side is good throughout all ranges. Yep. Visibility on the bottom is good, no matter what. And if you get over to this side. Uh, the visibility gets a little bit, a little bit skewed whenever it's in line with the boom. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I think that's one of those you can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, yeah. But the uh, control of it is way more, way better than I thought it was going to be. Did really? See, I don't know if you got it whenever I cut the top of that tree off, I hit the same saw curve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, did on... Uh... On, on one of the videos, I did get that. I mean, obviously, I'm a little bit slow and clumsy right now. It's the first time I'm ever using this. It's the first time I'm ever using a saw, period. But uh, I think we get on flat ground, get that angle set right, we'll be able to. Yeah. The biggest problem is, who's going to clean my mess up behind me? That's what we're getting ready to work on for me. Be a new shop project. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, I got a few more ideas in mind for this. Oh, really? Oh, boy. All in all, guys, we're going to call this successful build yes i don't know I love it did different if we would have done it all over again uh-uh i mean it'd be nice to have power rotate but i'm not going to go well we, we didn't have no prints to change anything uh, i'm not going to go through <laughs> all that i'm not going to go through all that for no more what we're going to use this thing yeah so, all right i was going to wrap this series up man behind the scenes all right sounds good all right man behind the scenes quick little recap we got this thing back in the shop we got two itty bitty little things we want to uh, tweak on this thing. Uh, one, we just now realized that the relief valve and that control valve we put in is set at like 2000 PSI. The motor in the machine will do 3000 PSI so we can increase our torque to that blade by a third. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, and it was 100% a guess, I think we're going to redo some hose lengths and maybe some hose routing getting from the valve to the machine and uh, possibly put a bracket on that just to keep it from getting caught in there. But yeah. So hoses were going right Right, 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 right. So if we, we're, we're thinking about good. taking a piece of this three-quarter round stock, welding it from here to here and just basically keep it from getting back in back there and they'll kind of look kind of slide around. So. But all in all, that thing is a huge <laughs> success. Yeah. Huge success. Uh, we even got more plans for this, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I'm going to make a whole playlist on the channel. If you haven't seen all the videos of Build This, go back and check it out. We're on to, uh, we're on to, I can't really say it's bigger and better because this is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yep. This, uh, this one may take the cake on the cool attachments we yeah. built, but uh, we got a lot of other shop work to do while the weather's kind of uh, crappy. We've got two other builds in mind, and we got a little bit of maintenance, mm -hmm. and you're not going to want to miss out on those either. It's going to be a bit of a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss out what's coming up next. If you haven't already, subscribe. We greatly appreciate it, but we're going to call this one a win, buddy. Oh, yeah, we are. Let's go celebrate with some lunch. All right. Cold beer? For you, maybe. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>